Josh here and welcome to another episode of Pressure Talks. Today I'm going to be doing a book review because the latest Derek Landis Gulldugly Pleasant Adventure Seasons of the War was released uh, a couple of months ago. No, one month ago? I don't know when it was released. But it, was, it was released and I'm a bit late with this one. You know, I always review Skulldugly Pleasant uh, Adventures because the uh, I think it's probably my favourite... Um, young adult, you know, uh, adventure she is, but it's one of my favourite novels, one of my favourite book series of all time, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about this, yeah, um, I might spoil it a bit, so yeah, spoiler warning I guess, <laughs> so anyway, this is the latest adventure from Derek Landy, as I said, it's called Like the Peasant, uh, it's book uh, four in uh, phase two, phase two, what is it, phase two, one, Two, three, four. Yeah, book four. <laughs> book four in phase two, which you know, uh, as everyone knows, well, any Skaldagdi Pleasant fan knows that he uh, stopped uh, after a while, and then you know, did a whole new adventure series, uh, and then came back to Skaldagdi. So we're in phase two. Let me honest with you, um, straight off the bat, I think this is probably the weakest one in uh, phase two. Uh, it's not saying I didn't like it, I loved it, I actually, as you can see, the book is quite thick and uh, I don't have much reading time, as I always mentioned before, uh, but I did read it pretty fast, I read it, I think, in a week, um, so it's not saying it's bad, I'm not saying that, I just think it's the weakest one of the, of the lot, uh, probably It and Midnight, It and Midnight, yeah, I think they're, they're pretty close together, um, so yeah, uh, once again, we find Skulldugly and Val uh, on an adventure. This time, they have to go to the parallel dimension uh, to stop the big bad. Melavon. Melavon. Melavolent. Melavont. Many names. So they have to go over there to stop Melavont. And, um, yeah, then uh, things started to happen and that. What I did like in this book is, as I said, spoiler is warning, I'm going to just say this straight away. Uh, as I did like in this film, I like that Valkyrie finally sort of started to accept things that happened in the previous books. Because in the last book, she was kind of depressed. You know, she was on the verge of, like, losing herself and all that. And I do like that here her character kind of gets back to normal, back to the Val we like. Ah, Skulldugly is just Skulldugly as always. He's definitely my favourite part of the book, always. I know people are mixed between which they like, if they like Val more or if they like Skulldugly more. I'm on Skulldugly more because I just think he's so cool. Uh, I do like that we get a bit of uh, weirdness about uh, Skulldugly's former partner showing up. My major issue with the book was that the last 75 to 50 pages really felt rushed with a lot of, uh, you know, things that we were waiting to be concluded. Uh, really got concluded fast, <laughs> like like in a uh, blink of an eye, like in one chapter, uh, you know, Melavolt, uh big return and that sort of got solved in a chapter, <laughs> and uh, and also the, but the biggest one was, I know they're not the main characters, but you know, in this phase two they were sort of like, you know, everywhere, uh, the Darkly Brothers, their, their, their whole saga, their prophecy and all that, got concluded near enough in one chapter, like it was just uh, a boom, 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 and it's over. And, um, yeah, I felt the last, you know, few pages were really rushed, like this, okay, we've solved this, 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 solved this and let's set up this, 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 this. Now, one thing I would love to see with the Skulldugly Pleasant uh, books is if after this uh, phase two is resolved uh, I would like to see standalone novels with Scott Douglas President. You know, not everything needs to be a big saga. I would love to see the characters because I don't want him to finish phase two and then like again not use the characters. I would like to just see them you know, uh, solve a crime, like just crime adventures, like just one book, you don't need to make it a, a saga which ongoing, 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 you know, because this is what it feels, it feels like it's a big conclusion all the time, now I'm not, I said, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it, I did, I felt it was 
you know, the weakest of them all. I didn't, I didn't mind their trek through uh, the parallel dimension, you know, or, uh, the other world. Um, but at times, yes, I know it was necessary to try and get uh, Valkyrie out of her shell and back to normal. But, you know, we spent a lot of time in that dimension, a lot of time where they're just trekking and just fighting things and just trekking and finding and trying to find the stuff. And then the whole conclusion, you know, happened in two chapters. So, uh, yeah, that's the only issue I have with this book. Once again, I think it's a fantastic book. I would recommend it. Obviously, if you are reading Phase 2, you're going to continue reading Phase 2. I would hope it will be more. I'm interested to see what they do with Dark Ash because it's, you know, she's just like in a few chapters, Lemon, there and there. Uh, Lemon Lau, I was going to say, which is more, please, which is there and there. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm interested to see how they're going to do that. I'm interested. I do like that Valkyrie is now back to herself. I do like that Skull is. I'm interested to see what his former partner has plans if he's going to like take him down. He says he doesn't in the book, but you, know, you never know. Uh, so there's lots of other things that are still open but there was a lot of things that were resolved and their resolves as I said you know I felt they were resolved too quickly which I didn't like but anyway that's it I would definitely recommend reading it I always recommend reading Scarlet Gilded Prisons obviously I do not recommend starting with this book I recommend starting with either the first book in the series which is Scarlet Gilded Prisons or Resurrection which is the start of phase two which is a good starting point for other people um, anyway, that's it. Those were my thoughts on this book. Again, it, the humour was good, the action was good. You know, you can't say they aren't good, these moments. It's just there was a, little, a bit missing from this book. So anyway, what are your thoughts on this book? Drop your comments down below. Let's talk about it. As I said, spoiler warnings, let's just talk about this. Skull the fans and, uh, you know, tell me I'm, I'm full of crap that you love this book. You thought it's the best of phase two. So, yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button. And also, if you are new to the channel, consider watching some of my other videos down below and hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.